Hello, my name is Joe from Tech Solutions, and today we're going to be discussing how to use a Sacred Key. We'll also cover a few troubleshooting techniques and a few things to look out for when using the key. So let's begin. So you notice here in front of me three different versions of CyberLocks. Um, we have over 400 different designs of locks, but the one consistency is that every lock has the same lock face. Right? So this method of unlocking these locks is going to be used across the board. I'm going to use the padlock as an example because it's easy to see when it's open. But all you're going to really be doing is just remembering that the method to open this is very similar to using a key today. You're going to insert and turn to either the right or the left depending on the orientation of the lock. It, these locks are still mechanical. There's no motors, batteries, or wires. So you got to keep that in mind. It still involves that torque. So you'll notice that there's a flat side of the lock and there's a flat side of the key. So in this case, we're going to make sure that those line up, plug the key in, you'll see a light, hear a click, and turn. Simple as that. Let's do that again. Key in, click, turn. And one more time. Key, click, turn. And that is how you open a cyber lock with a cyber key. So a few common mistakes or troubleshooting techniques that we'll get into is that sometimes people will be too quick to turn or they'll insert the key and twist right away and it gets jammed up. So you want to make sure that you're inserting, waiting to hear the click, and then once that click happens, turn. Um, on the other side of the spectrum is if people sometimes wait too long. They insert the key, they hear the click, and then see the light goes off. Now that solenoid pin is back into place. It's not going to unlock. If that's the case, then you'll just remove the key, insert again, and turn. So you'll notice there's about a two-second window between click, light, and turn. Uh, and that's when you're going to want to open it up. Last, we'll discuss some basic troubleshooting techniques um, that you might experience when using a cyber key. So the first is going to be if you're touching your cyber key to the lock, not getting any feedback from the key. You touch it over here, you're not getting any lights, clicks, sounds, or anything. Could be one of a couple things. The first is contact issue. If there's any residue or dirt or anything that's blocking this, these prongs from making a good contact on these contact points, uh, the first thing you want to do is just maybe take a hard key and scrape it or a brush of sorts and clean that out. And then when you try it again, you'll see the contact issue is gone and the key works. Second is going to be the key may be dead. So since we have battery and rechargeable keys, uh, if you feel that there's no contact issues and it's been cleaned out, the key still isn't giving a response, you want to go ahead and change that battery or plug that key into charge for a little bit. The last thing that you may experience is the key might not have access to the lock. So in this case, this key has access, plug it in, click, turn, open. But in the case that it doesn't have access to the lock, you're going to hear these beeps. So that's tell the key's telling you it's either out of schedule, does not have access to this lock, or the key has expired. Um, in, th in those cases, you definitely want to contact your administrator and get that taken care of. In conclusion, the key's going to tell you a lot of the story about what's happening. Um, a lot of the beeps, pay attention to the beeping and the lights, and use that to help explain to your administrator if you are having an issue with the key um, so that they could help troubleshoot it. And that is all for troubleshooting a cyber key.